The Quick Render Manager is an easy to use tool to let you set and change the most common render settings by a push of a button. It can be used to jumpstart the lighting of your scene or to get a quick rendered view for your asset. First, we open up the tool by clicking on Custom Tools and select Render Manager. The window opens. First, the tool automatically detects the render engine we are currently using, which is Arnold in this case. You can also change that, as for right now, Redshift is available as well. This tool combines all the most common features and settings for rendering in one window, which would be otherwise hidden and lost in the different settings for each render engine. The first thing we can change is whether we want the image to be rendered deep, which is a feature that grew bigger and bigger over the last couple of years. The next checkbox determines if you decide to render an animation or a still frame. By clicking the button, the frame range for animation is automatically set to the time slider of Maya. Some render engines have GI turned off by default, having lots of features which you don't really need most of the time for a quick render. This button turns GI on and off with reasonable settings. If you have an asset which you want to light very quickly, this setting is for you. Light source and sky gets created and deleted by this checkbox. As for the render engine, at startup the tool checks with which resolution you want to use and lets you change between common presets. As every render engine has got different methods for sampling and denoising your image, the render manager tries to find an easy to use approach and solution for most render engines by condensing it into a single number. 64 is fairly low, 512 would be production level in most cases. Here. You can specify where you want your rendered image to be saved. You would normally go into the project settings to do so. Here you can add the most common AOVs for your scene. By double clicking on the name you can specify the settings. Also it is possible to add an ambient occlusion render layer. However this feature is still in beta and does not work properly all the time. That's pretty much it about this tool. Thanks for watching.